Hello guys, my name is Madhur and welcome to my channel. This is the first tutorial in the series of tutorials on C programming for beginners. Now you're watching this tutorial, you would probably be knowing what C is, but in case you don't, then C is a programming language that was developed in 1972 by a guy named Dennis Ritchie. Now ever since it was developed, C has been very popular and it's still in use and it's used for a variety of purposes. It's used to make operating systems and you know small size applications and games and you know for a lot of other different things and lots of programming languages have been derived from C. So if you learn C then it'll be easy for you to pick up lots of other languages and you know in case you don't know C and if you haven't worked with it then it really won't be a waste of your time if you would you know learn the language and if you would learn to code in it. So the way we are going to deal with the language in this course is we are going to learn the fundamentals first the syntax, the basic constructs, and then we are going to do sufficient practice by working on lots and lots of interesting problems. And then we are also going to check out some advanced concepts at the end of the course, right? Now, before we get started, there's something that we need to understand, and that is compilation. Now, communicating with the computer involves speaking the language of the computer, which uh, rules out English. And, uh, you know, because the operating system or the computer, it understands binary language which is very boring you know a bunch of ones and zeros and we cannot you know learn that so we are going to learn C and we are going to use a software that's going to convert our C code into something that the operating system can understand and operate on and this process is called compilation and the software that we are going to use in this course is called code blocks and code blocks thus is a compiler right so I'm going to demonstrate how to install code block code blocks in your operating system and uh, you know you can skip past these instructions if you already have code blocks installed but if you don't then you know this is just going to take uh, about a minute so make a google search for code blocks and uh, you know follow the downloads link in the first item that pops on your screen and uh, on the page that opens up you would see three links the first one would be download the binary release the second one would be download the source code and the third one would be retrieve source code from SVN and you know we are interested in downloading the binary release because we do not want to build the application from the source code and then install it instead we want code that's already built and you know the executable file so that we double click on it and install our application so you know that's easy and convenient and that's why we're going to do that so click on download the binary release and then depending on the operating system that you have you have to select an executable set of file for yourself and uh, I assume that you guys are using Windows and I'm just going to discuss instructions for Windows users but if you're using other operating systems then trust me the installation is very simple and you probably won't have to you know um, understand anything new to install the application you know if you install applications before then you just have to follow the on-screen instructions and you just have to you know do basic stuff to have the application ready for you now you would see two set of files here right the second one would be you know much larger in size than the first one and we have to download and install the second set of files because we need the GCC compiler and that's something that's included in the you know second set of files. So you know select this one and the version you would see is 12.11 and this is at the time of recording of this tutorial. You know, if you watch this tutorial five years later then you would see you know something else you would see a different version number and the size would also be different right this one's 96.8 MB but they keep adding and subtracting features so the size is you know going to vary and you know select any of the two servers that you see and you know I just clicked on Burly OS and you know my download would begin automatically now I have already downloaded the you know uh, executable set of files so I'm not going to download it again so I'll cancel the download and uh, let me minimize the browser and you would see that in the downloads folder I have this uh, you know set of file and the version of code blocks that I have is 10.05 but you know it really doesn't make much difference whatever version you have because the features of the software that we are going to use in this course are the features that are going to stay constant between releases so if you have 10.05 or 12.11 or 15.98 it won't really make much difference right but they have some kind of convention for naming their releases so maybe there won't be 15.98 but you know what I mean to say is that you don't have to be concerned about the version of the software that you have right so when you have uh, downloaded the set of file just double click on it your operating system is going to ask you for the permission to install the application so click on yes 
and uh, then you know the installation will begin and you just have to click on next a few times and then you have to click on you know check the i agree box and then click on next a few more times and you know just sit with the custom settings and your installation will run smoothly and you will have the software ready for you you know at the end and it really isn't much of a hassle and you know you would be able to deal with it yourself and i've installed the software already so i'm not going to go through the steps that are involved but trust me it's really very simple so i'm going to cancel the installation and what i've done is for the sake of convenience i've created um you know a shortcut on the taskbar at the bottom you can either do that or you can pin the software to the start menu or you can create an icon on the desktop you can do whatever is uh, most convenient for you and when i click on the icon that i have on the taskbar you know i see this page and if you guys also see this page then it means you're good to go you can follow along the tutorials in this course and uh, you know you have the software installed so congratulations now in the next tutorial we are going to create our first c program and we are going to understand the statements that go in it and we're going to understand what does what right so you know in this tutorial i just wanted to discuss what compilation is and what c is and you know why do you need a compiler now code blocks is not basically just a compiler you know it's an ide it's an integrated development environment and it offers you a text editor you know this is the region this region that you see here is a text editor and it offers you a compiler it offers you debugging tools and you know lots of other fancy features that we won't really be interested in using in this course but you know it's a lot more than a compiler Right, so I wanted to you know discuss uh, the significance of using such a software, why you actually need it, and uh, you know how to install code blocks. Yeah, so you know these are these were the things I wanted to talk about in this course, and I'm going to try and make this course as entertaining as possible for you guys, and I'm sure we are going to have a lot of fun. Uh, and by the end of the series, uh, you know all of us will be expert C programmers. So see you guys in the next tutorial. Stick with me in this course, and we're going to have a lot of fun.